Hi everyone. So next we study the GAMS for smoothing spline. So remember that the smoothing splines have some hyperparameters. So it's more complicated to estimate um, than regression spline. So still that we use GAM function and GAM smoothing spline as GAM. Okay, so now we fit wage on smoothing spline of year with df2 so effective degrees of freedom too so um, remember that hyperparameter corresponds to a so-called effective um, degrees of freedom so we specify effective degrees of freedom here and h with effective degrees of freedom of 3 and education then uh, it estimates the um, this model So, um, um, in the same way as the last time, that we can see the summary of GAMS. So we have slightly different output from the regression spline. So regression spline is a linear model, so the uh, output is just an over table. And here we have a slightly different one. So at first, it gives um, usual um, an over with just the linear term. So this says the year two, but actually they're only linear term, so df1, and also linear term of h. So you can see the year is significant factor, and h is also significant factor, and education is also significant factor. Then also the this output c if we need some additional um, parameters for year and h. So um, so this tests um, this output basically shows that the um, in addition to linear term, the uh, additional the, the um, function of year is uh, significant or not. So if we get the um, effective degrees of freedom too, we have basically the one more parameter and that we can use the world test. So the, the difference is log likelihood between the um, two models, one which does not include the second term and the one does include the second term. Then uh, we can compare the likelihood and that we can uh, do the world test. So um, this is p-value. So that means that um, if we have already have linear linear term of year, so th then the additional the um, parameter for year is actually not significant. So basically the uh, linear term is enough for this case. And the, this is also the same thing, so the age with df3, so two additional parameters, two additional degrees of freedom is useful or not. And actually the p-value is very small, so for age, uh, it's uh, important to include the uh, higher um, uh, effective degrees of freedom. So n we can interpret the, the tables in this way. So also for this table that we can generate the um, graphs, but the, um, now we see that the year 2 is redundant, so we just modify the model a little bit, maybe gamma 1s is only year 1. Okay. Then uh, we want to get the, the graph, so parameter mf row c13 and the plot gamma 1s and the standard error 2. Then uh, you can get the, this figure. So this has one effective degrees of freedom. So that means this can be only a straight line. And this has three degrees of freedom. So it can be uh, for, uh, the cubic curve. So actually the, um, we have this curve. And education. Education is the factor variable. So we have four degrees of freedom. So we can set the uh, level of the each um, so level of the function for the each educational level, the just freely. So uh, this is how to use the gamma function with smoothing spline. Okay, see you then.